Ram Horse Fencing Installs has added another product to its lineup to make installation of your fence that much easier. We call it the Race Line and Shock Line end loops, and it's designed to be used with both of these fences. We have created this product to make the installation of both the Race Line and Shock Line fast and easy. Because it is non-conductive, there is no need for anything special. Please follow this video or refer to the Race Line and Shock Line Flex Fence Installation Guide found online at ramfence.com slash endloop. Threading the Race Line and Shock Line End Loops Make sure you have selected the side of the post where your underground electric wire is supplied. After the end posts have been marked and the staples are hammered to the first barb, start with the staple on the side of your electrical connection. Thread the tail of the race line and shock line end loop through both staples, then through the loop, and cinch up tight to post. Do this on both ends of each continuous fence run. When you put up race line flex fence, Ram Fence only recommends it be installed on the inside of the post. This way, the animal pushes against the rail and then to the posts, rather than onto the staple. Once the race line and shock line end loops are installed, remove about one and a half inches of plastic from each tail and push this bare wire into the tensioner. With the aid of a spinning jenny, pull all seven rails out and attach them to the race line and shock line end loops. The mating ends of each rail were also installed with an inline tensioner making sure some polymer coating has been wrapped onto the spool. This will prevent the polymer coating from pulling back from the wire during tightening. Pull the slack out of each rail. With tensioner in hand, select the mating rail and measure past the tensioner about a foot and cut off excessive wire. Remove about 5 inches of polymer from the wire on each rail. Insert this bare wire into the tensioner spool hole and bend the end of the wire 90 degrees. Using the tensioner handle, tighten each rail, making sure some of the polymer is twisted onto the spool. Next, drive up all the staples to within 1 8 of an inch of being tight. This should be done on all staples throughout the entire installation, never completely tight. Attaching the shock line rails is easy. Measure three quarters of an inch from the capped end of both end loops and remove the polymer coated shock line rail along with the caps. For this next step, a pre made jumper cable using underground cable is needed. Remove three quarters of an inch of plastic off each end. Bend each end 90 degrees in the same direction. Using a split bolt, join the jumper wire to the top section of the shock line end loop where the cap was removed. Then join the shock line with the jumper and incoming underground wires. Make sure these connections are very tight. You can also secure the jumper to the post with a couple of staples. You are now ready to apply current to your system and let your animals in to enjoy themselves while you enjoy peace of mind. We appreciate your business at Ram Horse Fencing Installs. If you have any questions about the installation of your end loops, please contact our customer service department at 1-800-282-8292.